Hi, this is how to set up the dynamic separator for printing with a separator from a different tray. Now this is the quicker method because it uses Microsoft Office to actually print the separator file with the tray information in the separator. So it saves a lot of processing. So this can be up to two times quicker than the other method. So to set up, go into Options menu, Separator banner page setup. Click Generate Separator File on the fly. That will auto fill it in for you. So I want to pick a different template. Click on Browse. Now in the installation folder, if you go into Batch and Print Premium Low Edition, you can see all these RTF files here. You can pick any of these or you can create your own as well. If you look at the help, it shows you how to create your own. So I just want the file name and file title on the separate page. So it populates this file here and this is the file that's actually going to print the actual file name. So now I want to uh, choose the tray that I want to print to. So I know on this printer I've got uh, trays called tray 1, tray 2 for example. So I'm going to click browse. If you go into examples there's already a whole lot in there what we've already put in there. Say if your printer has a different named tray, then you can create your own as well. Just create one in Notepad, it's just a blank file, but it just has to be the exactly the same name as on the printer. So for this one, I'm going to select tray 2, because I know it's tray 2. And that's it, that's set up. So I just want to click this box here. It will actually be automatically default set when it's set up. So now I'm going to drag and drop my files in. And click print. So as you can see, it's spooling separator first, and then it goes on to the actual file, and then it's next separator, and then the next file. So that's all done. So if I go to spool queue, I sort by submitted, I can see that it sent a separator first. If I go to printing options, I can see that it's set to tray two, and my original printer setting was set to tray one. So you can change that to whatever you want by going to File, Printer Setup. And you can set your default tray in there if you want your files on a different tray. So if you go down the list again, you can see the next one is Tray 2, and so on. Set with Tray 1 for the actual print. Until the end. And then Tray 1. And that's it. That's a quick setup guide. Give it a try.